Hey guys, Lauren Lizen here for my week 50 update from vertical sleep gastrectomy surgery, which I had on August 21st, 2013 at Massachusetts General Hospital with Dr. Denise G. I am obviously in the car right now. Um, it is Friday, so I'm a couple days late. I didn't think that I'd be doing this video at all this week um, because I have been really sick. Not well. I'm coming to the end of it, knock on wood. Um, I was really sick Tuesday, I worked and I was sick. Wednesday, I found someone to work for me so I didn't have to call out and I was just like on my deathbed. Uh, and then yesterday I was sick but getting much better. So today I worked, uh, I'm in the car on my way to Josh's house about 5 30 I'm gonna have a couple minutes to stop in and change and then we're gonna be heading out again because we have tickets to see Nick Swartzen do live stand-up um, he's super funny uh, if you guys don't know who he is he um, has been in a lot of Adam Sandler movies he uh, it was in I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry he was uh, Jessica Beale's gay brother. Um, anywho, so we're going out tonight. So I figured I would do, the, I was sitting in traffic for a while and I actually made another video before this. It was 18 minutes long and there's no reason that this update needed to be 18 minutes long. So what I did last week, um, I went to New York last week. Me, Josh, Gooch, Sarah and Corey. We were staying um, like 15 minutes north of Albany. Um, so we got there on Thursday afternoon and Thursday night we met up with Erin WVSG and her husband. Um, they're from Kansas but they were up um, kind of doing like a bladed honeymoon and also uh, going to a friend's wedding. So we met up with them and went for sushi on Friday night and that was great meeting her. They were, we had an absolute blast with them. Um, then Friday we went to Six Flags in Lake George. Um, it's, it's a, it was a pretty small Six Flags. Um, so we didn't get as much walking in as I kind of hoped that we would. Um, as you would like at a really big theme park, but it was still, it was a lot of fun. Um, and then Saturday, Sarah wasn't leaving until 7 o'clock at night. We had to check out at 12.30, so um, we basically went to the mall for a long time. So we did a decent amount of walking at the mall, I guess. But then when I came home, when we, so we got home late on Saturday night, Sunday is kind of when I started feeling sick. Um, so, all in all, I did not exercise last week. Like, between Wednesday and Wednesday, I was supposed to go to Zumba on Wednesday night. And my mother decided that she wanted uh, Josh to come over. Well, Josh was coming over anyway, but she decided that, you know, she was inviting my sister and brother-in-law and nephews over for dinner and she wanted us there. I could have said no. I could have just said, no, mom, I'm going to the gym. It wasn't like this big family dinner thing, but whatever. So I didn't go to the gym. Um, we had the like family dinner. I was going, I, in my head, I kind of knew that I wasn't going to do it, but I was like, uh, I'll set my alarm for eight o'clock in the morning and if I feel up to it, I'll do C to 5K Thursday morning before we leave. I didn't end up doing it. Then we were away um, for a few days, and then I ended up starting feeling sick. So I have an, an unexpected day off tomorrow. I was supposed to work tomorrow, um, but someone was looking for hours. So she asked if she could work for me, so I said, sure. Going out tonight, I, it'd be nice not to have to feel like I have to, you know, immediately get home and, you know, while Josh is driving home, take my sleep meds so that I can fall asleep as soon as we get back to his house and, you know, worry about 
about having to get up at 5.30 tomorrow morning after being out. So I was like, yeah, sure, you can work for me. And so there is a Zumba class tomorrow morning uh, at the Workout World near Josh's house. So I'll go to that. And then um, hopefully either right after or... Um, yesterday is when I started my pre-op diet or when I was supposed to start my pre-op diet. Um, I was supposed to have a two week pre-op diet. I did more of a one week pre-op diet. I've mentioned this before. Um, if I could go back, I would have done the full two weeks. You know, it's the whole coulda, woulda, shoulda thing. But, um, I still lost 10 pounds before surgery, so I still feel pretty good about it. But I'm like, hmm. Maybe I could have lost 15 pounds before surgery and started five pounds ahead of where I was. Anyway, it's that whole looking back, hindsight 2020 bullshit. Um, so I am pretty sure, I'm like about 95% positive that I am actually going to do, redo my pre-op diet. Um, not for the full two weeks because I am going to Atlantic City uh, next Thursday evening, though, like, we're leaving in the afternoon, we're not gonna get there until kind of late, um, and obviously while I'm in Atlantic City, you know, Friday and Saturday, I will definitely be drinking, so drinking was not on my pre-op diet, my pre-op diet was a shake for breakfast, um, piece of fruit for a snack, if you needed it, a shake for lunch, another piece of fruit for a snack if you needed it. They they kind of discouraged against the fruity snacks. Um, and then a sensible dinner, which was uh, about four ounces of protein. So for me, still it's about the same, you know, maybe more like three ounces of protein if I'm getting in my vegetables also. So a sensible din dinner included a salad or um, some like steamed vegetables. So I think that I'm going to be doing that pretty much up until my one year. So my one year is uh, 13 days away, so it's going to be on a Thursday. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be, as we all do, copying less of Sarah and doing like a video a day for my whole week of my one year celebration. So. As a part of that, I will be finally answering um, the questions that you guys submitted for my nine month surgery that I never ended up answering. So they will now become one year surgery questions. Um, I'm going to be doing a video that includes a body shot in regular clothes. I'm going to be, this is probably all gonna be one video. So body shot in regular clothes, then me and my, um, like pre and immediately post surgery clothes, like clothes that I was wearing at that time. Uh, and I'm also going to be doing a skin flick. So that's all probably going to be one video right there. Um, I'm going to be doing biggest mistakes that people make post-op, which 
I guess that could come across as a negative video, but obviously I'm going, it's going to be like, you know, also in there is going to be what you should do, or, you know, this is all coming from me. Take it with a grain of salt. You might disagree with me on some points, but I think on a lot of these points, you guys will agree with me. Um, then, you know, I'll probably be doing a, the feels video, um, which I have, I, I try, I disconnect myself a bit from my emotions when it comes to my own process, saga, I'm trying to get away from the word journey. Um, I have a lot of feels when I watch you guys and your videos and your process and your stories, but um, I have not had a lot of feels, especially lately, I think, when it comes to my whole thing. So I think that I'm going to have to sit down and, you know, have one of those emotional chit chats with myself. I'm at Josh's house, so I'm going to have to wrap this up. Um, so in the next week, my plans are to work out at least three days. So that's three out of the next five days. Um, Saturday, I'm, excuse me, so Sunday I'm working all day and then I'm going to my nephew's fifth birthday party. And so, um, unless I work Sunday night, um, <laughs> he just stepped out of his house. Unless I work Sunday night, um, excuse me, unless I work out Sunday night. <laughs> He's looking at me through the window. <laughs> One second. Um, unless I work out Sunday night, I don't know if I'll have time and I probably won't work out Sunday night. <laughs> such a creep. Um, and yeah, so I'll be going back to my pre-op diet. So, oh my god. I'm gonna wait. I wish that I could flip this camera on him right now because he's being such a fucking freak. Uh, I think I'm gonna wait to show you guys who Josh is until we do our question video. Uh, which I'm already planning, but you know, that's a few months away. Anyway, so until next time.